Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a video for you about all of the new movement mechanics in Call of Duty Ghost. I tried to test out as much as possible. Unfortunately, they had some uh, technical issues and I lost a lot of the footage where I did my dashing, sliding, leaning. I do have some of it. This is among the more aggressive of my gameplay where you will see me slide and dash and climb a bit. We're going to move to leaning a little bit later in this commentary. Uh, you probably saw this yesterday. I'm under an embargo, at least for now, where I can only show 15 total minutes of footage and I used up most of that in yesterday's big video. So you'll see some repeats here. I'm also going to put a little bit of Black Ops 2 in, especially for comparison on the movement. But let's talk about the movement in this game. That's something that I didn't make as big a deal of yesterday, and I should have. It doesn't feel exactly like a Call of Duty game on movement. It will feel uh, familiar at first, but it has a new big thing about conservation of momentum. Either that or I'm just particularly bad at it. But in a Call of Duty game, what they did is they ran on a version of the Quake engine. This one runs on a similar engine. And that engine was built for like hyper fast paced arcade shooters with lasers and rockets, you know, like Quake or Unreal or something like that. So you would kind of go from zero to full acceleration really, really fast. If you stopped, you could go back to full sprint very quickly and that was sort of used as a gimmick or a crutch around the movement kind of like in Call of Duty the vaulting mechanic you'd run up to the wall come to a complete stop you would vault over the wall very very quickly or do your climb thing with a button and then you could go back to sprinting really really quickly same with climbing like you could jump kind of halfway and you didn't need to reach out and grab whatever object you were playing with your, your knees would just kind of catch it and you would boop, 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 slide on up and then you could go back to full speed sprinting well when they added in new movement mechanics to this game they also decided to add in a momentum mechanic uh, they have some of the similar moves from Battlefield with the vaulting, but Battlefield does it kind of like Call of Duty. You can go from prone and you can pop up and vault over really fast and then go back to sprinting. It's just kind of how it's programmed. This game feels more like Mirror's Edge. And you're like, what? Mirror's Edge? Are you crazy? Are you drunk drifter? This is Call of Duty. Well, this particular portion feels a little bit more like Mirror's Edge or more like what it did to me. A lot of you are familiar with it. That's the first person parkour game where all you did was climb, but unlike something like Assassin's Creed or Gears of War where you would just tap a and you just a a a a up over all the walls you have left bumper right bumper and all sorts of different uh, mechanics that you would have to use to climb and when you mastered it you would be like a god on these mirror's edge maps you'd move around super fast and fluid when you didn't do it right when your timing was bad when it was off you moved around kind of like a potato and it looked very very ugly uh, this game is a little bit more like mirror's edge when I want to run and vault over something it helps me a lot to have some sort of momentum behind me if I run up and I mistime it and I bump the bar over here or I don't I don't I don't think I vault over this bar, but if I ran up and I bumped it, then what would happen is I would lose my, my momentum, and when I would hit the button again, instead of like vaulting over quickly, I would do this some kind of slow climb, hop over, throw your legs over. But if I ran and hit it quickly, I'd just plant my hand, keep my gun up, and keep going. So there is a big, big deal with this game about momentum. The same kind of thing happens with the dashing. Maybe I'm imagining things, but the dashing has a certain speed. Unlike, it's similar to the dolphin dive in Black Ops. In Black Ops, you have to be sprinting, but it's kind of like any sprint and you'll dolphin dive about the same. It's like a preset animation. This one, it seemed the faster I was sprinting, the better sort of roll I was on, the faster my slide would be, the more effective it was, the better it worked. And I couldn't just stop and then slide straight to the left or backwards or change my angles a whole lot. You're going to slide pretty much whichever way you're moving. So you'll see in some other people's gameplay, not mine because I didn't do it very well or often enough, where they would slide into somebody and shoot them in the head or just slide into them and shoot them. But more often than not, if you're sliding directly, directly at a person, the hitbox that you present is similar to crouching, so you just get shot in the face. It's more useful at sliding into cover, like if you want to transition from standing to crouch really quick, you can do that, like over to a corner, or this bar that I ran around a lot in the map. We had a lot of people, they'd see me, and instead of going through the door, they would just slide under the bar, where they would crouch and keep moving really quickly and dodge some bullets. It felt um, pretty good, pretty normal, actually. When I first saw the slide mechanic, that felt like the most ludicrous, ridiculous thing in the world, but it kind of worked. Dolphin diving was a little bit crazy, although fun. I had a lot of fun dolphin diving, but now they have their own sort of compensatory mechanic. Well, let's move into leaning. I get a lot of questions about leaning, probably more than any of the other elements, and this is the best gameplay that I got from leaning. I'm on the map whiteout. I have a sniper rifle, which isn't really my deal. Not even all the players in the game, but this is one of the more popular lean spots. You get on the boat, and you come up here and you lean over. I'm just going to run this clip over and over because I show most of the mechanics while I talk about it. And what you're going to see is that I'm not kind of like locking into the wall. The question is what a lot of people are worried about getting screwed up with the lean mechanic. Like if you run up to the wall and you hit the lean button, which is just uh, left trigger or aim down sights, 
They're kind of worried it's going to be like Splinter Cell or maybe Gears of War or uh, Ghost Recon or something. Not Ghost Recon. Yeah, Ghost Recon, where you kind of like lock yourself to the wall and you're stuck in that position and if you want to get off and run away, you can't. The lean is actually a lot more simple than that. It's what they call a contextual lean, or if you played any Call of Duty game on PC, a lot of them had Q and E. You had WASD and then you had Q and E and Q and E would lean. This one's a little bit faster. So what happens is when you move up to a wall, instead of having to do your Counter-Strike or old Call of Duty, like pop back and forth and shoot, if you hold down the uh, left trigger and aim down sights, the game knows which side of the wall you're closest to. And if you're, let's say you're on the left side, the game will say, okay, he's aimed down sights on the left side of this wall, and he's, you know, two inches from peeking around the corner. We're automatically going to tilt your vision, and you just kind of like tilt your head to the left and look over. And you can still use your left stick and slide all around, like you can lean, and then kind of slide back and forth uh, and still move and pull back and pull forward. So you've got a full degree of movement. You can do the same thing on the other side. So you'll run up and hold the trigger to aim down sights, and the game knows, okay, he's close to a wall, let's tilt the vision a little bit, but there's no body locking, there's no movement slowdown, there's no freezing you in place. It's just sort of, uh, you get extra controls out of one button, and it works pretty well. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. We probably already dipped into the Black Ops footage and some of the Mirror's Edge stuff I got earlier today. I've probably already gone over. I don't even know what gameplay I've got at this point. But I'm telling you, the movement feels different. The same thing for climbing, uh, or I think I already talked about the climbing. Uh, the big thing I wanted to get across is conservation of momentum. When you get this, it's not Black Ops, it's not MW3. You can't do your crazy climbing, YY scoping sort of thing. If you get on a good roll, if you keep your momentum rolling, you're going to be fast, you're going to be lethal, you can do your sliding. If you're a slower player, if you're running LMGs, if your timing is bad, if you just don't have the skills to do it, it's going to feel real stop and go. It's going to be bumpy and going to be rough. So uh, get your timing practice on with some Mirror's Edge or some others game, other games before you play this. I'm, I'm just assuming people are going to be watching this video months from now looking it up. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.